Hey guys, what's up? Happy Saturday. Working on the BMW today and a little bit of the Jetta. This one's lifted because we had to remove this broken plastic piece underneath. It was dragging way too much to where it was actually breaking apart on the road. So I said, F it, we're gonna just take it out from underneath. At least we won't have any issues later on when it rips off on the highway or something. That's all I'm doing to this one. We're gonna do the Jetta, bring that one in. If you own a Jetta, a lowered Jetta, then you know these things rub like crazy. So we're gonna try to fix the tire rub once and for all, take off the uh, fender liners, cut them, trim them, whatever we have to do. Not that it's doing any damage, but I'm just gonna try to see if we can get rid of it. So let's get started. Let me get this car out of the way and then we'll bring the Jetta in. All right, guys, got the car jacked up, got the wheel off. I think we just need to take a good chunk of this off in order for the wheels to fit. Very careful when you're working with razor blades. I'm being very, very stupid, very irresponsible. I could easily cut myself, so be very careful. See, I took those two screws off, uh, pushed this tab in, I brought this down. This just comes down. Um, and I pretty much cut from right there, this edge, all the way back. And that should give us a nice little gap right there. Nothing should rub. I'm gonna see if I can just kind of tap this with a hammer and we should be good. Wasn't the best way to do it, but I think we'll be able to clear now. We shouldn't have any more rub on this side. Um, I looked at the back. I'm not sure if there's anything we can do in the back. This side is set. We shouldn't have any more issues. Fingers crossed. Again, like I said, I'm not sure if there's anything we can do here because it looks more like the tire is actually rubbing on this part of the quarter panel. But I think we are rubbing something on it inside because there's a rattle. This wouldn't rattle. My poor wrap. My poor, poor wrap. See, I've cut some before, but it looks like it wasn't enough. It's still rubbing here. So we need to cut a good chunk of this off. So we're gonna need to cut over here, but let's take one, two, three, four, five. We got six, a bunch back here. All right, six of those. All right, same as before. We're gonna take those six screws off, drop the fender well down, cut it. That should remove the noise. It's only the right side, but if I start hearing it over there, obviously, we're gonna do the same method over there. But I need to see if this works. And if it does work, then we'll do it over there. All right, let's just get this done already. It's hot. Oh, 
Oh, holy sh**. I guess a heads up, there's gonna be a lot of f***ing dirt. There we go. So we're just gonna cut all the way up here, I think all the way up to this top line here. Cut all the way straight back and then bring it back down here. Maybe even back here. That should remove any more rub in the back than necessary. If the sidewall is hitting the quarter panel, there shouldn't really be any noise. Maybe a little noise. I guess we'll, fin we'll figure it out. This should help though, just cutting this piece off. It's a very nice cut. Again, I said from up here all the way to this first edge and just bring it all the way back to here, which is probably about a couple inches above the first screw here. A little bit of stuff exposed there. No big deal. It's not that bad. I think we'll be all right. All right, all that's left is just to fasten the screws and put the wheel back on. I'm gonna take it for a test drive and then I'll let you guys know what I think. If it helped, if it didn't, I really didn't do any befores. Um, if you've ridden in the car with me, then you already know. But it used to rub a lot. Small bumps, big bumps, highway. Uh, it was just scrape, 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 scrape. Obviously not doing any damage to the car. It's just plastic that needs to be removed. I'm just doing a little modifications. Hopefully it helps. So let's put it back together and test drive it and see if it did any good. Before we start test driving, I took the front wheel back off because I was going to repurpose this. This is the rear piece that I took off. I'm going to pretty much fasten this piece right there over this hole. There is a piece that goes here. Don't know what it's called. Don't know how much it costs, but it's very, very important. Mine fell off due to a hit and run. Insurance company never got it back for me. So I realized nine times out of 10 of my HDMI problems that I've had with my fog lights and my headlights have become issues where water gets in here. This just needs to be covered up. All right, there's the piece I cut and I uh, had a change of plans. Instead of fastening it here, where pretty much the tire rub situation will come back, <laughs> um, this stuff's pretty flexible. So I'm just gonna slide it in here and that should solve both issues. Again, with the piece in there, it's not the prettiest, but it'll serve its purpose in keeping the wires dry which is pretty much the whole point anyway. All right guys, we're all done here, so let's put this back together finally. Ah! Still gonna drive like I normally drive. You know, cautious and all. There's no more rub in the front. Yeah, my neighborhood has the best roads to practice on. They're not exactly the greatest. So there's definitely an improvement. Definitely noise has been reduced. Because I, I'm telling you honestly, this would have been rubbing way louder. I know it's it's a it's a shitty video because I don't hear anything. Yeah, it's kind of kind of the point. Okay guys, so the test drive went good. I think there was just a little bit of rub in the rear, which I don't think there's gonna be anything we can do about that considering the tire is pretty much touching the quarter panel. Um, it is what it is, so uh, I'm pretty happy with it. There's no damage being done back there, so aside from a little bit of wrap getting peeled, uh, no big deal. Uh, the front was definitely needed to do, uh, definitely needed to do when I lowered the car the first time. So I highly recommend it. If you're gonna lower this car, go ahead and just uh, cut some plastic off of your fender, uh, plastic fender thingy, what do they call it? Dust cover, 
um, go ahead and remove a good chunk of it. Go ahead and bend the tab back as well because that's just gonna cause uh, noise issues later on down the road. You might not hear it now or uh, a month from now after you lower your car, but it will start to bug you eventually and it's just gonna get worse once your tire eats all the way through it. So, highly recommend it just to do it, knock it out. It just took me, what, a half hour, just take the wheels off and just cut some stuff. I use a freaking old rusty razor blade. I don't recommend that whatsoever, do not do that. But that's all I used and it worked. So, um, the plastic is very flimsy, easy to cut through, knock it out right now, real easy to do, no noises after that. Now you can drive your car with no rubbing issues and you'll enjoy it just as much. So, that's all I got for this one, guys. Drop a like if this video helped you out, and subscribe for more content. Peace!